I, I think we were just happy to be there. And with, as you said, we talked about under mm. the circumstances, it was just great to be in the squad because there was a lot of good players that were left out of the squad. I mean, Tony Adams was left out of the squad. Davis. David Seaman originally. Well, yeah. no, David Seaman came with us, but he he left the squad early Dave, on. Yeah, Dave Besson then coming for him. Alan yeah. Smith was left out. Tony Adams. Yeah, Tony Adams. So and yeah. Dave Rocastle. Yeah, good mm. names. All left out of the squad. So we felt lucky to be there. So in a way, there was it took the pressure off us because you know it was there were some good players left behind. So we just had to get on with it. And we knew there was rumours about changing the system. And I, I didn't know I was going to play. We, you, you didn't think that you were possibly going to play. So there was a lot of uncertainty about us. And there was no there was no arrogance. and never has been with England squads. But there's no like the feeling that we could go all the way in this one. And we just had to take it as it comes. And we certainly did that. Yeah, I think we have to say there was a bit of good fortune um, what happened against the Cameroons. Mm. When we, we got through that one when <clears throat> It was deemed at one point it was easy, you know it was an easy one for us. It wasn't easy because they were so physically strong, um, a little bit naive, and I think naivety cost them. Maybe cost them a result against England, which would have, you know, those players would have been <clears throat> could have been living in anything they wanted to if they'd have got a result that what what they wanted. It could have been it could have been our Iceland. Yeah, it, could, it, could, yeah, it, would, it would have been. I mean, I'm, <laughs> it would have been. Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> I'm sitting here like you know thinking to myself, oh, let me know what people are going to be saying about me. Mm. Um, if we lose this game of Germany because the ball deflected off me, should have been more concerned if we'd lost to Cameroon. Mm. I think us as a team, as individuals, and you know what we'd have to live with, and it come close. But I mean, <laughs> one thing I do say is that there were two 100% penalties, by the way, on yeah. Gary. You know, Gary got butchered on both of them. Yeah, good, good word, butchered. I like that yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Yeah. <laughs> the um, you talk about the the the, the two nailed-on penalties there. I mean, looking f to the future. The, post, the prospect of video technology coming into to the World Cup, to, to any major kind of football sporting event, does that, does that fill you with a certain dread? The sense that games, the flow of games is held up while people review and you take those kind of injustices out of a game which so often is based around reaction to injustice. Well, it takes away the, the threat of another Argentinian getting a handball against England in the, in the quarterfinals. So. He's, yeah. he's for it. I always say, <laughs> I always say, VAR on. should be void Argentina's result. That's what I say. It was so. There we go. I, I thought about that last night. I was thinking about that last night. Well, I think I think about it every night since 1986. Right. <laughs> we call that homework, Terry. <laughs> and and looking at uh, looking at the, the upcoming World Cup, um, how, how do you think the tournament has changed? From from ninety to twenty eighteen, do you, do you think he doesn't have kind of the spirit, perhaps, of some of those of maybe ninety and eighty six those ones? Do you think the World Cup has changed a great deal in terms of its sort of feeling? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to question. I, I think from a player's perspective, when we were, we were playing going to World Cups, it was it was exciting. I think for the public as well. I remember as a kid, it, a World mm. Cup came around. You got the World Cup ball, you got the World Cup coins. You're looking at all this and all these panini stickers and are out now and all that sort of thing. Yeah, that's that's the exciting bit. And I still think the kids get really excited about it, and the players do as well.